it's October 2020 and we are following the Rosary of Jerusalem um, uh, because it's for cat and it's for a woman then I will uh, talk a little bit about the women duty in uh, uh, in Christianity and I will bless it next to every place then here Jesus fell for the first time and um, but here he met his mother on the way and if we're talking about Mary then uh, you can understand that she knew that he is going uh, to his in a way crucifixion and those are the last hours of his in, uh, in Jerusalem. No, 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 while he was carrying his cross to the crucifixion place. And here we are, reached the fifth station of the cross of the Via della Rosa. Here's San Simon helping to carry the cross. And for me, the most important part in that station is that stun. That's where he actually stood and touched while he couldn't breathe and San Simone, a Jew from Libya, helped him to carry the cross. And we are climbing up and he is eating. How are you? Not so at, least, at least it looks new. <laughs> then they are renovating down. Oh, the lens doesn't look so well. Then let me try to clean it a little bit. Yeah, it looks better. Then we're heading to the sixth station, but you can see that they started to renovate it. The place, uh, the tourist maybe will reach Israel at November 2020. And I hope that it will come true. The sixth station, for me it's a very important station, that's where St. Veronica saw Jesus walking up and she decided to help him. He was sweating and she cleaned this sweat. Bye ma ben chilcha. Then, in those 14 stations, she is the only one that did something for him. She knew that she's taking a risk. That Veronica house, the Veronica house is right here. And I'm blessing the rosary as well in that place. You can imagine, Kat, that it's not a regular rosary. It was, uh, it's actually made with olive wood, but now it's been blessed. Then the energy is so strong there. Maslom Khan Shema. Baderach la Lucia. Bye. Shalom. And seventh station, that's where it fell for the second time. But it's not more, it's not only that. We are living the city. Jesus was crucified 2000 years ago. But the city is not the same city. What used to be outside is now in the center of the city.
southern station that's where Jesus fell for the hey how are you second time and we're following the market together uh, with you we skip the 8th station maybe because it's a little bit far away I bought that rosary from his shop why? maybe because there are no tourists and I want to help as many salesmen as I can because they are beautiful people Thank you. And I'm an Israeli guy. And that's a salesman. He is a Muslim Palestinian salesman. And guess what? We don't hate each other. I will climb up to the roof of the church and I will enter to the church from the ninth station of the cross. That's where he fell. Mashlam Khan for the third time. The Sadam Shama Yomitla. This is less less touristic part of the Church of the Holy Sepulcher, which is the place that he died, buried, and resurrected. The church belongs to so many. Um, Catholic, Greek Orthodox. Armenian, um, Coptic, Assyrian, name it. Hey, look at the kitties. And you can see the two tombs of the Church of the Holy Sepulchre in front of you. Great. I love that weather. It's not hot. It's not cold. This is the Egyptian and the Ethiopian part of the church. And that's where Jesus fell for the third time. Mm. It is like a beautiful the church. That's where Jesus fell for the third time. Let's bless that rosary cat. We're living now the Egyptian part, entering the Ethiopian part. And we will walk now through two Ethiopian churches straight to the entrance of the Church of the Holy Sepulchre. And I will visit the place that Jesus was crucified and died. And I will bless that rosary. Look how beautiful is that church. I have so many videos of the Ethiopians in Jerusalem. The church was established in the 4th century, but it's been destroyed so many times. Then what we're going to see is mainly from 12th century and up. Okay. Because there are no tourists that are renovating now. Then it's a little bit noisy, isn't it? Let's climb up to see where Jesus was crucified. This is the Golgotha, the Calvary.
here is when they strip him from his clothes. That the Pieta that is actually Mary watching her son dying. Horrible thing, isn't it? Horrible thing. And Path that where he was crucified. And let me let me um, bless it exactly at the place that he was crucified. You see the crucifixion place. We live in that place and we're heading to the tomb of Jesus. Sadly, I cannot take a video in the tomb, but I will bless it in the tomb. But before that, as a Jew, they usually bury the dead the same day, uh, just like Jesus did. And they purify the body. And this is the anointing table. That's where they purify the body of Christ. And you can see the oil purification all oh, yeah. and now it's so so holy and this is the tomb I cannot go in with a camera but I will stand outside and bless it here. Lama. Okay. And because I cannot take a video inside, I will enter with it without the camera. Then that's a tomb. And this is the rosary. From Hollywood, and with Jerusalem at the back side of it. I hope that everything that you will ask for will come true. Thank you for asking me to do that.